Hello, it's Kevin again. Unlike my last video, this is about the 10 best applications for the iPod Touch or iPhone 3G, 2G, whatever they call it these days. So basically these aren't games. Okay, let's start off with AIM. I spent my life on AIM, so this is pretty good applications. Oh, oh, do you see this? Someone just IM'd me. I'm just that cool. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's see. You can scroll through your buddy list like that. Kind of like this thing. Hey, this guy named Kevin. He's such a fag. Let's type that. You're... Yeah, I suck at typing. What? Auto change. So basically, you just type it and send it. And he replies. My god, you call me a fag too. So, that's about it. And you can look at your info, IMs, favorites. On to the next one. This application is called Remote. Like it says, it's a remote for iTunes. I don't really see any use in this, but it's just damn cool that you can like control your computer with your iPod. There's no really practical use. Alright, let's test it out. Let's play... What's a hot band these days? Uh, Kanye West, I guess. So basically, you go to this thing, select the song you want to play, and you play. And if you can hear from my speakers in the background, it's playing right now. And you can pause it. Play it. You can even mess with the sound. Get DJ. Yeah. So basically, it just controls your iTunes. Okay. Next application Google Earth. I remember, like, when I was little, I thought Google Earth was like the most amazing thing ever. You could, like, spy on people. Or just find your own house for the hell of it. It's pretty cool. It takes a long time to load. So basically, it's just like Google Earth on computer. Pinch to zoom in. Let's go to my house. Actually, no, I'm not going to show you where I live. So you can keep zooming in. It's just like Google Earth. Zoom in. Zoom in. I haven't really explored it because after you found your house a hundred times, there's no more novelty in it. So you can just explore this forest or whatever I'm looking at on Google Earth. And you can go around the world and so forth. Alright, let's move on. This application calls Facebook. For all of you who don't know what Facebook is, it's a social network something. But yeah, I'm a Facebook whore, so I love this. So you can check your notifications, stalk people, do what you normally do on Facebook with this. And there's a camera button, but I have iPod Touch, so I can't really use it. Okay, next one. Fring, Fring, or whatever you call it. This is cool because you can call people using this. But I'm not going to show you my number because, like, that's bad. And you can, like, call me. But I'll show you that I can call people. Uh, okay. Okay. It's calling. Check this out. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? A phone call? Hello? Oh, my. It's working. See? Oh, you didn't see my phone number right there. But yeah, this is just to prove that it works. So, let's move on. And call. Okay, the next application is called Pangea VR. It's basically, you can explore a panoramic photo using this. A 360 degree panoramic photo. Let's go to Japanese panoramic because it's just cool. I can't read it, so I don't even know what I'm viewing. But you click on it, it downloads. Wait for it. It's going to open Pangea VR. Basically, you can move around 360 degree photo. 360 degree, amazing, huh? And you can turn your iPod, and it follows, like, it stays orientated. It's kind of slow. See, if I spin it like that, it's really slow. But you can zoom in, pinch out, zoom in, pinch out. Everything you do with the photo, and you can like move it. It's pretty cool. Okay, next application that was free. Application called My Files. I just like this because I can transfer video files and image files from my iPod to the internet and vice versa. Self explanatory. See, right now, my images, I have like, have this photo. If you can't see that. That's 100% and tap tap revenge. Oh, so skilled. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but that's just a photo I sent to my computer. Alright, let's move on. 
this application I find pretty useful, you know. My name's Kevin. Hello. See, you can just bring this around, people know your name. It's that simple. It's amazing. Something free can do that much. It's simply astounding. Okay, last application. Speed test. Like it says, test the speed of your internet connection on your iPod. So let's start it. I have some slow ass internet. Okay. Takes a while. Okay, 50% done. And it's finished. And now you can go brag to your friends about your super fast internet if you want. So that concludes this video. Hope you enjoyed this review of a couple apps. If you subscribe, I might make more apps videos. Yeah, I should think before I say stuff. But yeah, see ya.